Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well tonight. We are on a uh, bridge, as everyone can see, and uh, a couple weeks ago we were about a half a mile, you think, guys, over this way, yeah. where we got all the crazy yells. Mm -hmm. Now this yell, this uh, this bridge, uh, it took a long time putting it in, and I got several reports from uh, th some of the workers that worked on this project that it took a little bit longer because they sighted a creature just over here. Now that would that would kind of uh, fit up perfectly from what we've been hearing over there and uh, so we're gonna do a little investigation uh, as we're dealing with the Forest Service you know you get a lot of different stories so this bridge it took it was supposed, supposed to take a, a year to get done it took a lot longer my theory is their theory I, I guess in a way is maybe this creature maybe had something to do with it taking so long but we're gonna investigate and uh, and see what's mm -hmm. happening. How y'all been doing? Y'all been doing good, guys. Been good. Been good. Glad to be out here. Another another exciting day. Oh yeah. How you doing? Oh, bro? I love it. I love it. I'm ready to go. I do too. And I, right before they got here, I was sitting on the back of my truck and I heard a crazy yell, uh -huh. kind of like what we heard the other day. So I got in my truck and got warm. So uh, let's uh, let's get this thing started. Y'all ready? Ready. Ready to go. Let's do it. Okay. Bill, what you think about this? Yeah. Well, you know, this stuff pushed down the construction, but this ain't it. This tree has been protected by those taller trees around it. Yeah. That's not construction debris from the bridge removal. Uh, and it's broken. That's not cut. That's an odd place to be broken, too. <clears throat> Definitely. I mean, yeah. but that's not a beaver, and that's not an axe or a hatchet. No. And what we're doing, guys, is we're following this from the bridge close to this road, and we're going to come up over here. Where we uh, went last time is about a fourth of a mile up to the left that you see. So we're just going to come up here, do some experiments like we did before. All right, guys, we are making our way to where our little where we're going to stay for an <clears throat> hour or two, and. Got John behind me and Bill following up the lead. All right, look at this there. Yeah. What is that, guys? That's a gate, right? <laughs> How many times have we come across this? <clears throat> and usually, when this happens, what happens next? Yeah, when we break this, we go through it. That's what usually happens next. <clears throat> The strange stuff is always on the other side of this. Well, I'm always the first one to go across. <clears throat> oh, yeah. John fixed his camera up. Oh, yeah. John, don't you hope they they love us for all that we do? Oh, yeah. We love doing it, but it's, uh, it is work, guys. It's not, uh, what it, you is, th it is not easy. What you think, Bill? You know, I'm always the first one to cross. I think, John, I might let you go across this time first. I'll cross. <clears throat> oh, hell's gonna break loose now. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm still there. <laughs> now, like I said before, <laughs> this, where we're going, is gonna put us about a fourth of a mile where we heard where we were on the hill now according to my calculations it'll put us just a little closer to where we heard the yell this summer me and my stepson waded all the way up through here to the junction <clears throat> as y'all can see uh oh i just got some ice shine that's some eye shine or something. I got some eye shine, but I can't see nothing. <clears throat> Before we start our experiments, guys, uh, I've had a lot of you people ask me about uh, gifting, and uh, I want to give my opinion on it, and and Bart and and. Uh, 
bills. Now, all y'all people that don't get out and threaten and armchair squatchers that have all these theories but they never get out, don't get your feelings hurt because this is my opinion. I don't gift because if you were doing this thing as the scientific method like we do with calls and different experiments, then gifting kind of uh, messes it up. Say you leave something for Sasquatch out in the your yard or out in the woods, you come back and it's gone. To me, there's too many variables that can mess it up. Uh, there's pack rats, there's rats, there's all kinds of different things that could get what you leave. From another angle, if this is an animal that we're dealing with, uh, why would you gift and get something used to something that it had never had before? Uh, my opinion is I don't do it because it opens the door. If they, if this thing is paranormal, then it opens the door to other things. Uh, and kind of what me and John and Bill try to do is try to stick to the scientific method, right, guys? Yep. Right. And and so we try to do that. So I don't believe in gifting because there's too many other variables in place that can affect the outcome. I go out and I leave an orange, come back, something's gone. It don't mean Bigfoot's took in it. Some type of animal may have, has may have took in it. Now you have the things where somebody gifts something and something is left in its place. Once again, it's very easy to uh, cross that out because, you know, a branch could fall or whatever. So I personally don't believe in gifting. I just don't, I don't believe it. If you're doing this in a scientific way, it has, uh, uh, and there's too many variables that can mess it up, and there's too many ways. And, uh, John, I'll let you come over here. Okay. You have an opinion on this, too, and I'll let you give it. Uh, and one thing that we're going to try to do in our filming is, is give our opinions, because we're not experts. We're out here testing theories. In 20 years, we'll never be in experts, but it's our opinion. John, what do you think about gifting? Well, uh, very similar to what you just said. Um, I got a little different spin on it. You know, I think gifting does one or two things. Um, it can open the world to the to the paranormal and spiritual. Um, kind of a, you know, you're playing like witchcraft, but it also to me, if you're gifting, you're trying to humanize this thing and bring it down to our level. Yeah. And this thing is not us, okay, in my opinion. This thing is very real, but it I think it is very spiritual, but I think when you do try to gift, like Jonathan said, is too many things can, can uh, play a part in it. I mean, like I said... Just because something's missing doesn't mean that that Sasquatch or Bigfoot or the Dark Beast or whatever you want to call it took it. But I'll be honest with you, and Jonathan can cut this out if he don't like it, but um, <laughs> I just think it's damn hokey, to be honest with you. No, I'm not. I'll leave it in there. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I, I mean, you know, that's just my opinion. I think you're marginalizing this thing and bringing it to Harry and the Hendersons kind of thing. Yeah, because why are we as humans always wanting? <laughs> why are we I mean, wanting to humanize something yeah. that that is very, to me, mythical? Bill, what's yeah. your opinion on this? Well, y'all uh, y'all touched on uh, the real and the uh, metaphysical aspects of it. Uh, unless you're putting a camera on this, you don't know what's taking it. I mean, why does it have to be a big one? Yeah. Why can't it be anything else? A raccoon. Why can't yeah. it be a raccoon specifically? A raccoon, but. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's the pig man or the dog man or the goat man or whatever. How do you know it's a Bigfoot? You know, uh, I'm, I'm talking crazy there, I know. But, uh, and uh, on the other side, like the spiritual side, like you're talking about, um, there's an exchange there that you don't want to be involved in. You have opened yourself up to giving and taking with spiritual forces. If this is a spiritual yes. force, I wouldn't be involved in it. Yeah, and, and you know, and that's one thing too that, uh, like John said, is you, you know, it's it's wanting to humanize a creature. Now, I mean, one thing that we are going to do, and we do as a group, is is we are going to push the envelope. In the next couple of months, we are going to do it. You know, whether it's beast, paranormal, whatever it is, we 
are going to push the paranormal and we're going to uh, push the push this thing and try different things and so i wanted to address that you know because if you're doing the scientific method there's too many variables with gifting mm -hmm. and therefore you've got to throw it out so we're gonna uh we're gonna get on to some experimenting so we cut the uh, experiments we cut the camera off and uh, start doing some stuff You want me to still record? It don't matter. What are you doing? I record you. Alright guys, like I said, we're experimenting. We're going to try harmonica. Just experiment. Something moved to my right. Over here. Okay, guys, I got something on the hill right up there. And I'll, I will do an arrow on the screen. It's, I mean, it's not moving. It's, it, it was moving. <coughs> now it's like standing still. It's still standing there. You sure that wasn't me? You know, it's funny, Jonathan, I'm back to green again on my battery. That's weird. <clears throat> back to red, back to green. It's fluctuating. Whoop! Gonna make me work tonight. 
He's gonna make me work, make, make us work tonight. That limb just moved behind you. Are you kidding me? Uh uh. We're not getting a lot of bounce back. I don't know if this is a do one from hell. Okay. Something just stepped. Something. Right there, right there. Yeah. I just saw something. Is that eye shine? Mm -hmm. Something just stepped. Just keep filming. Dude, look at my battery. It is. It is. I'm filming up to the end, guys. Y'all are seeing it. Something's right here. I don't know what it is. There's something right there. There's something shining. Oh, move, move, move. Is that a rock? I don't see a rock. It okay. sounds like a rock. Oh, being thrown. It sounds like a rock splash. I think so. That was me. Something just stepped, bro. You should have me. No, that was up here. Hey John, if I look in the top right corner of my screen here. <clears throat> look right there. See if you see. That looks like a shape or something right. Yeah, there. We center it in the, in the camera there. We got like that. Yeah. I don't see anything. That's freaky as hell. It could be right close to us. 
Nothing showing up on the thermal. <clears throat> what is that big black mass right there? Is that a rock maybe? It's like a big black mass. It's got some brown to it. I don't know, but uh, we love the thermal. Well, yeah. okay. We'll go back up to it. Okay, I got it. I'm, yeah. I'm on it. Here, shoot, I'm gonna do a call. Yeah, I got you. I'll say. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Just one second. All right. Yeah, I was in that one. Got it. minute or two, that's when I've started feeling it. Nothing bad, but it's just... Yeah, it could be my ears playing tricks, but I kept the camera panned up here because I felt like I was hearing some chatter up here, like low pitch, just real <coughs> Well, you haven't tried that. Try the summer on top. Okay. It's a cover though. I love it. Something just something, left. something just rustled this brush beside me. But you said you saw that 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 leaf move, right? Mm-hmm. Earlier. But the quickest way to get them to do something is to leave a bit. Alrighty, guys, we got a weird occurrence. We're here. We're walking back to the truck. Gonna wrap it up. And I asked these guys, I said, did y'all see this branch right here laid into this tree? And I, I didn't see it in there. Did you, John? No. Did you, Bill? No. And we noticed this area when we came by. It's a campsite. 
Yeah. So that's that. Just some wiring trees. That wasn't there. Uh, now look at these trees right here. How they're interwoven. Looks like they've been manipulated to grow that way. Yeah, that's odd. You know how something don't just grow that way on its own. And that branch too. God, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. We well, did. Okay. Where the branch come from? It's not just not the same tree. No, look at, it's look a, the bark on that branch. Look the bark on this tree. Yeah. It didn't fall out of this tree. What tree did it fall out of? Uh, I don't see one like it. So, guys, it looks like we had a. Maybe had something telling us, you think? A visitor? Yeah, something. We did hear movement up behind us. Yeah, we did. Alrighty, guys. Something in there. <laughs> yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. This is, a, this is a cold one. Until next time. Oh, yeah. And we're going to. We're going to. Hey, uh, John, Bill. Do you think we ought to give them a little teaser about where we're going to head Friday night? Absolutely. John, where are we going Friday night? Where are we going? Where is the place that we've went that we've had 100% participation from Bigfoot every time we go? And where not are we going? Any names, of course. Exactly. We're not going to name the place, right? But we're going to a special we're place, going to a aren't spot, we? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I tell them what we've heard? Yeah, well, tell, well, let's yeah, let's go ahead and tell John. Tell us what you've heard and tell us what we what you saw the last time we were there. Well, um, the last time we were there, one of the first things we seen, we were doing a camp out that night, and we had some more people with us, and uh, one of the people you may meet in the near future. But um, first, one of the first things we saw was a blatant UFO. Um, yep. To my upper left, and it was it, it was a light that went on and dove behind the trees and disappeared. And it wasn't a falling star or shooting star. This thing was like an orb, and it was don't know how big it was because I don't know how far away it was. <coughs> Multiple witnesses. Yep. Multiple witnesses. It appeared and it, once on one side of the lake in the treetops. Uh -huh. Two other witnesses saw it on the opposite side of the lake. And the, behind another tree. Yeah. Top. And the other thing that we all heard that everybody that was there. Clearly, boulders were being thrown into. Well, I'm just going to say it was a lake. It was a body of water. Oh Clearly yeah. Clearly, boulders being thrown into a body of water. They thunked, and about eight different times. And then when we were leaving, we were standing at the boat launch, and within 20 feet of yes. a boat, what did a boulder do? And just, I mean, just it, it just it was humongous, like it just. Right in front of us. And we saw the splash. Yeah, I saw the splash. On that one. Yeah. And and one thing about this place that we're going Friday night, it is a paranormal UFO Bigfoot trifecta. Bill, tell the story about the... Well, I don't want to give it away, but... Okay. No. There's, there has been a fatality there. Okay. That's enough. Maybe we'll share that Friday night. Oh, yeah. And uh, let me tell you something, guys. We'll, we'll get some we'll get some badass stuff Friday night. Mm -hmm. All righty. We will see you guys Been good. Friday night.